Which of the following statements describes the set of integers greater than negative 3 but less than 6? So, what I want you to focus on is this portion here, less than 6. X represents the set of integers because we're told that X is a member of the set of integers. You can always look up the set of integers on Google, see what type of numbers those are. But here's the thing. If X is less than 6, this is actually saying X is greater than 6. So A is out. Look at this part. This is saying X is greater than or equal to 6. That's not what we're looking for. X must be less than 6. This is saying X is less than or equal to 6. So C is out. And this is the only one that's say, stating that X is less than 6. So let us look at the, the first part though. I mean, we'd already see that D is the answer. But let's look at the first part. If we're reading from X going this direction, we are saying that X... Now, once we meet the opening part of the inequality symbol, we read it as greater than. So we go in this direction from right to left. We're saying X is greater than negative 3. And this is exactly what we're seeing here, greater than negative 3. And when we read this direction, we meet this part first. And so we're saying X is less than 6. So, of course, D is our answer. Just, so, just for some additional information, this sign here means member of. So we say x is a member of, and this sign here means integers. So for the set of integers, we're talking about what kind of numbers? We're talking about um, whole numbers, such as 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on, go on a positive infinity. So notice that these don't, do not have fractional parts, just whole numbers, and whole numbers start from 0. But... Integers also include negative whole numbers as well. So negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and so on to negative infinity. So negative numbers, positive numbers, including 0, without fractional parts, are considered to be integers.